Welcome, everyone, to another Rising Tide Foundation podcast, where once again, I'm very happy to be joined with Femi Krasniki, who is an incredible researcher. For those who have not seen part one of this series of interviews, it might be two, it might be three, it might be more. I don't know. Neither does Femi. But we'll see where it goes. But for those who want to watch part one, go to the link in the description box and uh, and check it out there. Also, what would be of high value, we ultimately um, want people to watch Femi's incredible 2019 explosive documentary that pieces together a lot of different lines of research into a unified theory of the origins and the construction and the reasons and the civilizational uh, experience that brought about the great pyramids, the greatest periods of creative periods of great of creative growth, architectural science, astronomy, and also international oceanic maritime trans navigation, which is something that ties Africa and the so-called New World together in an interesting tapestry that's been really obscured. Um, so that that documentary is something that is going to also be available in the description box and a book which will soon be coming out for an English audience on a lot of that research in more detail. So all of that stuff, we want people to really dig into, think about, share. And today we're going to continue our, our voyage because we didn't get through our topics that we wanted to cover last time we we spoke. So today we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, Femi, thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Um, so uh, uh, I will share uh, the screen. All right. Yeah, you have a screen share. And just to just to recap quickly, the last thing we talked about, I believe, was the question of metrics that were utilized yeah. by the the ancient Egyptians who were using certain standards around which the the, the major pyramids, the Pyramid of Giza and a few others uh, that were really engineering masterpieces were built. And we see you you demonstrated questions of the golden section, the origins of the metric system, and what would be the the mm -hmm. most common sense standards utilized that would have given birth to a lot of these metrics. Um, that we touched upon that. Do you do you find that you were satisfied fully with with all of the idea content that you wanted to go through with that question, or was there anything else you wanted to recapitulate that you didn't you didn't uh, speak on? Uh, so I think I I'll make I prepare. Uh... I prepared uh, a summary uh, about the metric system, you okay. know, uh, and golden ratio, etc. Uh, I prepared something uh, very, uh, very friendly, you know, uh, very simple, uh, because I think it's uh, it's very important to this part, you know. Uh, so it's it's important for the public to understand this part. Because it's uh, the central columns of uh, of the movie of the history. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, I share the screen. So at first, uh, let me know. I'll present uh, because it's it's important. All right. Uh, I present the allegory of knowledge. Uh, mm. This is nothing to do with the allegory, uh, the cave of uh, Plat Platon, you know? Mm -hmm. It's something, something else, all right? So, uh, this part is very important for the public to, to understand because I saw, uh, I saw that people... Uh, didn't know what what are we talking about? You know, uh, there it's uh, it's something uh, they they look strangely uh, when we speak uh, about metric system etc. They are very very surprised what is uh, what this man is uh, is talking about. All right, so uh, I prepare this allegory of knowledge. Someone he, who is young and strong, uh, all right, a young man, he thinks he surpassed everyone, all right? But he doesn't know that uh, someone else with a horse will arrive faster. 
In fact, he doesn't know what uh, a horse is, all right? He, he never see a horse, all right? Uh, this man with horse, he doesn't know what a, a bicycle is, all right? So without a horse, uh, uh, the man with bicycle can go, uh, can cover more distance. And then the, the man with uh, cyclist, uh, the man with bicycle, he has, he, have, uh, he has never seen a car in his life and with a car which uh, another can go uh, 10 times uh, further and more away. And at, la at last, at last uh, after we have this man with car, uh, he, he, he see now for the first time an object which go faster than his car, and in addition, it fly. So this is a plane, all right? So we, can, we can't argue together huh? and people if you for things that you never heard, all right? So it's important to look the film, the movie, all right? And so after that, we can talk, we can argue together to, to change about the things that composed the movie, all right? And then, and then, you know, and then we can talk further for the next step, all right? This is, it's very important. So, uh, this, this allegory of knowledge, this is something that happened really, really, uh, as we know, the cargo cult. I don't know if you heard any about this, all right? No, I haven't. Uh, although the, the cargo cult is... Uh, is a, a belief system in Malaysia, uh, in Ocean Pacific, all right? Uh, the American in 1945, I, mean, I put the link here. The American in 90, around the Second War, uh, they came uh, in this island, in the Pacific Island, uh, with their uh, equipment and uh, people there didn't never see th this equipment of American, you know? And uh, when an American soldier talk with, uh, with his radio, they see, they saw a plane arrived, all right? They saw a plane and they didn't understand uh, what kind of magic is this, all right? And uh, from this, they, they, th they thought that, uh, uh, the radio is magic and this plane is magic and so they created a cult uh, that uh, uh, the cult uh, they created uh, you know the, a kind of a plane right in woods and mm. they uh, believed in this this system all right they didn't know what's about how the american fabricated uh, the plane the cargo etc Every time they called in radio, uh, some minutes after they see the cargo coming with the foods and very and, and goods. All right, and so this allegory of knowledge is uh, about this movie about my work is that people didn't never many people didn't understand what I'm talking about, uh, what I'm talking about. Huh? Uh, there are many, many things new that uh, that I'm, many people didn't never heard. All right, mm -hmm. and so uh, and so and so go on. All right, don't here's the movie, some uh, some video in live and video in my channel. So. Uh, let's go to the systematic uh, metric system. Though, so, uh, what is the metric system? I, I made uh, now a summary. Yeah? All right, and we'll go. We'll go at uh, at the moment that we. Uh, up. 
Did you hear me? It's all right. I, yes, absolutely. All right. And then we go at the moment we we was uh, imposed. We finished the first video. Mm -hmm. So the metric system today is one of the only is the only one system deployed in the world. A centimeter is a centimeter on a decimal system is one centimeter on a decimal system multiplied by 10. The second, the third, the entire world economy is built on the metric system. Entire world economy. The fourth, the imperial system is graduated on the meter. All right. Next. So the metric system is everywhere, everywhere in the world, every country, every, every island. Today, all the economy in food, transport, energy, uh, people, finance economy, everywhere, the systematic is everywhere and the only one system. So this decimal system is one centimeter multiplied by 10 equal, equal uh, 10 uh, centimeter, one decimeter. And one decimeter uh, multiplied by 10 uh, is a, over a decimal system. We have an, one meter, all right? So I propose, of, uh, in fact, there are two, two theory where this metric system comes from, all right? The first, the first idea is that the metric system comes from French Revolution in 1795. And the second, I propose the, uh, the theory that metric system comes from Egypt in uh, 2000, around 2700 before Christ BC. And so we'll go to look at this in detail. So here you have the uh, original, uh, you, can, you can, the original of uh, Act of Germinal, uh, the adaptation of a metric system. Here is the Wikipedia that talk about the metric system, how the metric system is defined, defined. And uh, in Wikipedia, we, we read that it's a half length of the meridian, right? So this is the meridian. It is 1,000 kilometers, or there is another definition. The meter was originally defined by one-tenth of million of the distance between the, the North Pole and the equator, all right? So this is the entire Right. The entire circumference that was divided by 10 million, and uh, so we have one meter, all right? Or um, uh, one of uh, fourth part of polar Earth circumference, all right? This is the official definition of the meter, all right? So everybody can look this. But uh, his definition by uh, Jean-Baptiste Delambre and uh, Pierre-François Méchon in, uh, in a, a long uh, French Revolution. So they measured, measured the earth, uh, the, uh, the part of, uh, up, this part of, from Dunkirk here in France to Barcelona, this line with a triangular system, right? And they uh, found that this part of Meridian made 1,000 kilometers period, 1,000 zero zero. Or, but we have uh, here some problems. 
So to understand here, here is the earth level sphere. Level is zero, all right? We have the circumference of this circle. And if we go up, if we go one, for example, 150 meters higher, the circumference of the of this circle is larger all right it's uh, i think it's clear and if we measure we 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 make some simple calculation if the if the perimeter of this circle is 40000 uh, kilometers uh 150 meters higher, the perimeter is bigger, and the perimeter is so 700 meters longer. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this is a problem where the Maison et de Lomb and de Lomb have made their measure in Earth level zero or in which higher, all right? So uh, the document said that the measurement method of Méchant et de Lombre, the principle is simple. They, we, we measure the angle of chain of triangle formed by church staple tower mountains from Dunkirk, France to Barcelona, Spain. All right, so the segment, right? They measured this segment, for example. We don't have meters because the meters doesn't, doesn't exist yet. So we have another, another standard. It's called TOIS, TOIS, all right? Because the meter doesn't exist. We mm -hmm. need a standard to measure, all right? Mm -hmm. And the standard it's called twice. So when we made the measure, all right, at the top of the uh, church of staples, we have, for example, uh, this measure uh, 40, uh, 40, 80, 20, 85 twice. Or we have here one, two, three, four, four church. But if we we put uh, uh, another church, the fifth, all right, in the middle. This this line, it's not the same, all right. It's not it's not the same. This line is uh, it will be uh, much longer than. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a thousand twice more than the first one, fifteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. Yes. Okay, that's just by For adding example, one other one other data point. Um, you understand? The... Yeah, we uh, we didn't have another. Uh, we didn't have the same length. If no. we if we put another church, all right. So this is a problem. Mm. Okay, and that's Next. because of the 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 height. Uh, above sea level of the topography is is the cause for the increased uh, um, yes length. Okay, so that 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 particular because, because yes because uh, in the document uh, are not mentioned the higher all right the higher of from the level sea mm. all right. Uh, it's uh, there is nothing that uh, that we can read the measure uh, from the level C. All right. Mm -hmm. Next. So this is one of the problem of the measurement of the meridian. Uh, so this is the meridian from the Google Earth. All right, in red. This is the meridian from Dunkirk to Barcelona. All right. This is the part of meridian they measure and so when we we draw something like this the line 
the profile line of this part of meridian, the profile line of this segment. So here we have the sea, the level sea. It's zero. It, the line is very straight. Here we have the line of the earth. All right. Here we have the line of the sea. It's straight. And here we have the profile line of of the continent of Africa, mm. right? And so the line, this profile line is this, all right? So we are here in the first problem. How, how they measured the sea, all right? How you can measure the level of the sea we have waves here. It's impossible. You can never, never measure something like this. An object like this, the level of the sea, it's not, it's never quite, all right? It's this one, it's impossible, all right? Because you have to measure this part of sea. Mm -hmm. The line of meridian, uh, you have to understand that the meridian is an imaginary line it's not something that really exists you mm -hmm. understand sure it's an imaginary line right so how you measure this imaginary line when this go through this is the landscape right how you measure here how we how is the the, the height uh, from the level c there is a lake, a lake between uh, the mountain. How you measure this this line? How you measure here uh, this imagery line of, on the paysage, on the landscape, of, over this landscape? Uh, very difficult. The same things is here, all right? Because it's an imaginary life. This is impossible, and this is never done again to measure no nobody can measure this with precision millimetric precision mm. all right because if you made an error of uh, 10 centimeters the meter it's not it's not it's not the same the meter how will will be definition you understand yeah, yeah, it's something we take for granted. It, it's true. We don't ponder how um, these these measurements are actually um, what what challenges are confronting the surveyor. It's a yeah, it's a good point. So the meridian go through this paysage, this landscape. We have here a vegetation, and how we how they measure with a millimetric precision. It's impossible. All right. And when you have a field of a field of grass, all right, you have to measure the meridian with precision of millimetric precision to divide, huh? and uh, this is it's it's impossible. It's impossible to measure. All right. So this is problem number one. Uh, the next problem is the uh, the level of ice when you go here in the north pole all right because you have to measure with precision the the meridian you are here in the north pole and here you have this is a, an image from google all right from google earth but in reality here we have glasses all right and the ice surface change every day, every month, every minute, all right? So the meridian go through this, uh, this ice surface. And the problem is that the ice surface, it's not the same 20 minutes later. The, the surface of ice, will be more higher or, or melted. So to measure this meridian with precision is impossible. All right. Next up. 
the same things here. The second problem of the measurement of meridian is the standard. What standard? This is one of the greatest problem. What standard? This, uh, this piece of wood, all right? What kind of piece of wood? So, for example, we will call this, uh, this standard contraption, right? Uh, we, can, we can give any name that you want, all right? It, it's not important. In reality, in their documents, they uh, they measured with the toise of Peru. So the, the right? toise or, is approximately how long uh, that they were using? Uh, the toise of Peru is uh, toise of Peru is uh, uh, I think uh, I put here in the wait a moment. It's about, uh, let me, uh, here is in Wikipedia. Uh, Twas of Peru, it's, uh, it's about one, uh, one meter. Wait a moment. Uh, Twas of Peru is about uh, one meter 19, where I put this. Yeah, I got it. Uh, 1.949 yes. uh, meters approximately, but it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. All right, yes. Okay. That's right. right. Uh, anybody can can find this uh, to us at Wikipedia. Okay. Uh, one is 1.9049 meters. All right. The Twas of Peru, it's called. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, when we when we when we measure the meridian, so we have uh, eighty one million forty etc. contraption. All right, we have this, and what we do next with this with this uh, this sum with this uh, with this number of of uh, contraption of standard of twas, what we do next. We divide by two, three, uh, one million, all right? We divide by uh, one million or by 40, 40 million, all right? And so if we divide this, uh, we have the standard called contraption, all right? We have, uh, sorry, uh, contraption. It's not legs, it's contraption, all right? So, Up, just wait a moment. So where this is uh, 81 million contraption divided by 40 million. So we have 2.03 contraption or twice the Peru, all right? But we can never do this operation, this, uh, this, this uh, operation to, to change the contraption in meter, all right? We divide four apples by two, we have two apples, that's, that's okay. But we divide four apple by two, uh, we cannot change in banana, this is yeah. wrong. Yeah, so you're saying that there is an incommensurability. Uh, you cannot use one metric to measure the other one because it's a different qualitative uh, uh, magnitude. But, uh, you you the, cannot for... change. You cannot change. You cannot divide it apples. And then you say the four apples give yes. me, uh, divide it by two, it, it, uh, it make two banana. No. Mm -hmm. Four apples divided by two, we have always two apples. All right. How we convert? The Toise de Peru or contraption, this mm -hmm. unit in metric, uh, the metric system, it doesn't exist yet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist yet. How you convert uh, this unit for apples equal something that it doesn't yet 
exist. Yeah, I, I get the paradox that you're drawing. So the, these these two French scientists were utilizing um, a, a unit to get a concept of a distance around the perimeter of the, the circumference or the meridian of the Earth. And we are told that this is the origin of the metric system. However, they were using units that do not uh, map onto or that you cannot derive uh, directly meters from the units that they were using with the Peruvian, um, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, uh, Tuas. You cannot, Twice. they're not derivable one from the other. So where did you, they get you, that you, idea of that metric that we use today of the meter or the decimeter? Or, yeah. Yeah, right. You, Good question. You cannot convert something, something that exists to something that did not doesn't exist. That's, I think, it's the essential point. I, for me, that, that's the essential paradox uh, that, that splinters into the brain, um, I think, that is, so, is, is of the highest value because we are, we are given a story that this is the origin of, origin of the metric system, but it's impossible that the origin of the metric system derived from using these units that are not derivable. You cannot. There's no commensurability of these units that they were using and what we are told is the metric system today. So where did they, yeah, where did that come from? All right. Mm -hmm. Now this problem is a new, it's a new standard that it doesn't exist. How mm -hmm. do you convert this? All right. The third problem is that the earth, uh, is the earth a perfect sphere, all right? Because to measure something uh, that's perfect, okay. But the Earth, it's not perfect. And uh, Sylvain Chatty is an astrophysician uh, and professor in the uh, University of Paris, right? Here is the conference. And he said, he said textually, this is this, the, the quote, the Earth is not an ellipsoid of perfect rotation, all right? That's the Earth is that we give a special name. We call the terrestrial geoid. That we was we stopped uh, the our interview uh, the first time. All right. Mm -hmm. So the Earth it's not a perfect sphere. It's first a geoid. But he said he said he sh he showed loudly in this movie the Earth is not a perfect geoid. It's yet more difficult, all right? It's not a sphere, it's a, not a geoid, but it's, it's, a, it's not a perfect geoid. Mm -hmm. You understand the difficult, difficult to- Yeah, because a sphere is very easy to, met, to get the mind around. It, it's equivalent in its surface to, from the center equally everywhere, whereas uh, a geoid is more squished. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, it's it's a it's a little bit sort of like squished, right? Um, where the the distance from the the equator to the, or let's just say the the distance of one diameter horizontal is going to be different from the diff the the diameter inside vertical, which will be shorter yes. in a geoid. But you're saying that on top of that, according to the real like the facts, um, it's it's even like we see that in this image, um, more um distorted so that's very difficult yeah yeah so but is, is that an extreme the, example that 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 image that you have on the bottom right hand side of the uh, the 3d model of the distorted um earth surface is that ex an extreme exaggeration because it looks very like yeah 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 an ocean yeah. that's <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's very exaggerated is okay. exaggerated but it's exaggerated to show that the earth it's not a perfect sphere Okay. And it's not a perfect geoid, but it's a geoid very deformed. Mm. That's right. But it's it's not. Huh? This is exaggerated very, very much. It's exaggerated, I think, uh, uh, 200, 200 meters, something like that. Uh, uh, or no, it's maybe 100, uh, one kilometers. Okay. All right. So if you have the equator here, here you have the North Pole, the meridian here will do this. This, the, uh, this measure, it's not the same 
with this. It's not the same with this. It's not the same with this. All right. So every meridian, it's not equal. It's, uh, this, is, this is mathematics. This is physics. It's not equal. No mm -hmm. one meridian, it's not equal with the others. They are all imaginary line. And in reality, there no one meridian, it's equal with the others. So here we have a paradox, all right? And this is a, this is a problem. Mm -hmm. So here you have the video. Everyone can, can watch this, uh, this conference. Okay. Problem number four. So nobody and no instrument has measured the earth with precision in centimeters or even less in millimeters. I think so. And uh, it's, it's impossible. All right. For example, I take an example, the Montreal Nards Dam. All right. Uh, this is a dam in in France, in France, and when we made a measure in Google Earth, all right, from here to here, we have six hundred twenty-two meters. When we made the measure the, from the same point, and now we'll go through the dam. This is the dam, a picture of the dam in front, uh, in the front. So the dam is 130 meters high, all right? Here in yellow line is the, uh, the, the line that we try to measure. Google, it, uh, Google Earth, it uh, tell us this result. So it's six, uh, 624. It's... Uh, it's two meters more, two meters more longer than the first measure. So Google Earth, it doesn't, it doesn't calculate this length, 135. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we go here, all right, at, at, at the point of them. That's all right. Then... Google must to calculate 130 meter high this, but Google, it doesn't calculate this high, all right? And Google goes straight to the next segment, this one. And we, uh, we have this result, 624. So for, for Google Earth, this measurement, uh, it's the Earth, it's without relief, all right? Mm -hmm. And I think nobody and uh, no instrument exists to measure, to measure the surface of the earth with precision. There is no, no instrument, as I know, because mem even you, even you, you have a laser, a laser instrument to measure. You cannot measure the surface of the vegetal. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. How you measure? How you measure the surface of the of the tree? All right, the mm -hmm. relief of the tree of the vegetal. Problem number five. The matter unit exists and found was found long before French Revolution. So here we are, we are in uh, Peru, Temp Temple of the Sun, Cusco, and a researcher, Contant Lepla, has made the measure. This part of wall, of this uh, wall, as I tell in the movie, is one meter zero. Mm. This part two, this part two. And we are here, one around uh, around one thousand or one thousand BC. All right. Wow. Maybe uh, yes. Maybe uh, 
if you the datation the datation it's not precisely defined for this temple right but this temple is long before french revolution <laughs> significantly yeah and you, the the internal metrics that you you've just uh, drawn out there not only have the exact meter but you have an exact eight meter distance in the courtyard and a 12.945 yes. meter other distance wow Yes, you have here. Uh, uh, you have here a rectangle uh, golden ratio. Mm -hmm. All right, this the is golden the golden section. Ratio. Yeah. Right. So eight, eight to if you if you re, uh, relate twelve point nine four five to eight, then that ratio is the golden ratio. Yes. So wow. you take you take a calculate right mm -hmm. up. So. 12 uh, 45 all right divide by eight perfect all right this is golden ration thousand years before the metric system here we are in metric system and here we are in peru thousand kilometers away from france how it's Amazing. possible <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And there's a secondary chamber right there, which, which has a distance that's exactly 1.618, the golden, the golden section right there. Ratio. That's fantastic. Golden ratio in meter. We have here in the church of San Nectar, this is constructed, this church in uh, 1,146 and measure are made in uh, laser. We have a meter long before revolution french revolution mm. here we are we are we have the 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 front of uh, church of versailles the measure are in meter as you see here 100 meters 100 meters and in laser we see three centimeters mm. most most perfectly 100 meters all right and this was built the over church, a century the, before the French Revolution. Yes, it is built. Palace of Versailles is uh, 116, 100, 100, uh, 1661, long before French La Revolution. Hmm. All right. We have another, another, this is the door. Many of the doors of uh, Castle, Chambord Castle here. This is constructed in uh, 1,500. And more of the door have, look at this, measured in laser, 1,000 millimeters. Measured mm -hmm. are made in laser. All right? You have 1,000 millimeters. How you, how you, how it's possible this before the French Revolution? <laughs> So we have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, uh, this is another stone church, uh, the church of uh, Saint Foy de Conque is constructed uh, around 1000 and uh, 1100. We have 100 centimeters long before French Revolution. We have metric system at uh, at uh, Esther Island. Hmm. Yes, in Autongariki. And we have this that measure 100 meters. Some see it's not 100 meters, but it's uh, 90 eight centimeters but this is reconstructed it's uh, 98 centimeters uh, however we see very well we have the the, the other measure here it made uh, 220 meters that here we have metric system we have metric system here the meters the Notre Dame de Paris, all right, the, the most uh, 
one of the most uh, built, famous build in France. Mm. And the door, if you come in Paris anyway, <laughs> you the door, this, mm -hmm. this door, all right, uh, are two meters precisely, two meters, zero, zero, measured in laser. And this is constructed in 1163, wow. right? We are, we are uh, around 600 years before French Revolution. Wow. Right? Yeah. And I suppose, I suppose the common explanation for all of these, these facts are simply coincidence. Um, accident is, is what the is what the experts try to to explain this away as, or how how do they account for these these uh, well, these things? Some uh, some historian or I, I, I officially I didn't uh, read any comment from them to say it's uh, it's accidentally it's a hazard or it's. Uh, or they know, all right. Uh, I read, uh, every, uh, I read sometimes in their comments. It's hazard. Uh, I, I, I cannot, I cannot, uh, I cannot speak in their place. All right. Mm -hmm. So okay. <laughs> then we again here we are in Peru. All right. Uh, in Bolivia near the border of Peru, uh, 20 kilometers. Uh, it's called Puma Punku in Bolivia. It's just near the, the, the border of Peru. And uh, this is datated 1,500 BC. And uh, two architects, uh, two archaeologists, Strobel and Yule, in 1980, uh, 1,892, they measure the stone of Puma Punku and they find it, this stone, they found it, this stone, one meters. This hmm. one, one meter, zero. The measured are here, you, you can, you can yeah, read. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. One meter precisely. Then they are measured, the stone, with uh, their meters, all right, in uh, 1018. And they measured other stone, some one meter, some other 0 0.60, 0 0.50, 13, 20. So we see that we are here in a decimal metric system, all right? We are 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, all right? Uh, we are a uh, thousand years before the uh, Re French Revolution here in Peru. Okay. And uh, this is confirmed, you know, this uh, famous uh, stones. This is confirmed uh, in laser uh, in, in this movie. Uh, this, the, this researcher go and put the laser and we, he made the, the measure here in laser and the laser tell 1000 millimeters. You, I'll develop the, the further in this document. Uh, what is about this? Are we here we are in a hazardous or is no? We'll see at the further. Mm -hmm. And can I ask you just quickly? Um, I this is this is a, a civilization in Peru which would have been contemporary with the Olmecs. Do we know what the civilization was exactly? That there, is there a, a name for this the civilization that was building these these constructs? Uh, we don't have uh, archaeologists officially in uh, Mesoamerica. We said Olmec. All my civilization, and here uh, there is no name. We the archaeologists tell that this is this civilization is called uh, prehispanic, 
pré-Spain, pré-conquistador, uh, before conquistador civilization. Hmm. But uh, they don't know. Wow. Okay. Uh, they didn't know what uh, what kind of uh, of uh, civilization uh, we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, up then. So, problem number six. Uh, uh, why they choose? Why they choose? One part of polar earth circumference and not one part of equator. So that's a good right. question. Yeah. What why why one or over the other? Well, that's a good very good question. This is uh why why not the part of equator? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. So it's a choice, it's a arbitrary choice, it's not a, a universal choice universal universal uh something universal right uh and as i said here you have this meridian that it go all in uh in the surface of the sea of the ocean right and here as i said before here we have a profit line very very uh, very very di di distorted, all right, don't. So here we have a problem, why the fourth, uh, the polar earth and not the equator. And, I have a question uh, for you. I, I have a question. Yes. I, I had been, I, I, I had the, the chance some years ago to replicate uh, the Eratosthenes experiment um, you know, where, where Eratosthenes had uh, worked with a, a colleague and they used a, com a stick of com a common uh, height that was separated by I don't know how many miles in Egypt along, you know, when he was still the, the head of the Library of Alexandria. And they found a, a differential in the, sh in the shadows cast where at, by the sun at a certain moment coordinated, I think using a water clock or something. Um, where one person uh, accounted for no shadow and the other person had a differential of a bit of a shadow. Um, and they were spread along the... I, I was told that this was conducted along a meridian line, which gave them that differential to extrapolate the relative um, <laughs> circumference, I guess, or along the meridian, um, yeah. which was pretty close to what it what it was discovered later on to actually be. Um, yeah, well yeah, I know. In fact, this measure is uh, is the method of uh, uh, Aristotle, right? He he measured the Earth. Uh, he measured as you as you know that Aristotle measured the Earth by the the shadow uh, of the sun. Uh, but uh, in fact, uh, in Aswan. Uh, at the um, at the tropic is uh, uh, near the tropic uh, uh, in the summer in the summer uh, around uh, the solstice the solstice of uh, of summer the sun is is go straightly uh, to to the in this one straightly it uh, it is uh, slightly uh, at um, uh, perpendicular with the surface of the Earth. All right. So the sun, when you have a stick mm -hmm. at this moment, it doesn't. All right. You have here. You have the surface of the of uh, the uh, of the soil, mm -hmm. and when you have a stick uh, at this moment, the sun is directly at the top and we did we doesn't have shadow mm. yes exactly yeah. right yeah and here this happened in aswan mm. but the earth is is uh, is a, is around is a sphere and in alexandria in the same moment right the sun is here 
Mm-hmm. You have you point another stick, yes, mm-hmm. and this this make a shadow. Yes. All right. This make a shadow mm-hmm. at the same moment. All right, and this tell that uh, this tell that the Earth is is uh, round. All right, and uh, with the geometric system, we we make two parallels. All right. We found the angle seven point two, the angle of uh, of these parallels, right? And now we have to measure the distance from Aswan from this point, from Aswan to Alexandria. We have to measure this distance, and then uh, with a sample calculation by three, we found how is this segment. All right, and then we calculate uh, we calculate the circumference of the Earth. This is the method of uh, of Aristotle, and Aristotle uh, legend say that Aristotle uh, he measured this with uh, the step of uh, Gamel, uh, how it said in uh, uh, Sh- uh, Chamon. Is, uh, is, the that's animal. the uh, the inverted sphere, right? The uh, concave. Uh... Like the, you have a shell of a of a half sphere uh, that he was able to work with as well, right? Or no? Yeah, uh, and he he measured the distance from Aswan to Alexandria with uh, the step of the camel, and then he deduced uh, with uh, with the geometry he deduced that the we found the circumference of the Earth. Right? Yes, but Aristotle. He know this from uh, the Egyptian. The okay. Egyptian has calculated the Earth uh, long before, uh, long before Aristotle. Right, and as right. you pointed out, uh, by going through just some of the metrics found in these pre—I mean, some of these structures were a thousand years or more before Eratosthenes, um, which indicated a, 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 a knowledge of the metric system and pro- and thus likely a, a variety of other astronomical metrics too regarding the size of the earth that that must have been known long in advance anyway right yes yeah yes yeah, so we, we understand here that the metric system was known long before the french revolution long long yep. time before yes right? but it's not measured it's not it's not it doesn't came out from the circumference of the earth, of uh, circumference of the sun, of the moon, whatever you want, because it's not impossible, because it's impossible to measure the earth with precision of millimetric precision. It's mm-hmm. not impossible. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. All right. We can, we, we have a measure very approximately, okay, but we don't have a measure with precision, millimetric precision, right? Uh, of the size of the, the circumference of the earth because it changed and it's not regular. It's not a perfect sphere. It's, it's, so, it's so evident, All right? Uh, the next uh, problem, So we have here uh, we have here the latest measure, the two to latest measure uh, of today. Uh, for example, here the equator is well, this is the official source, all right? We have the link here. The equator is uh, 40 and then uh, 40,075 uh, kilometers, and it's not 40,000.000.00, all right? The Earth's circumference from the pole is about uh, 47 kilometers, and uh, weight uh, 60, 63 kilo, uh, centimeters, all right? So we didn't have a measure zero, 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 zero. 
So, and then we can divide this perfect size by a, a round number, a natural number. So we have one. Do you understand? Yes. We have seven here, point something. Here we have uh, 75. We didn't have 40,000 something. The mm -hmm. point zero 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 yeah right that's the problem mm -hmm. so the conclusion is as you as you see we have eight nine problem unsolved uh the experiment that it uh, they doesn't have written all right because you, you can tell me everything you want. I, 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 I made, I found this, but you have to do to redo this experimentation. If you cannot repeat the experimentation, right? This uh, is not valid. Yeah, and just to, to make that concrete, just like uh, earlier we were discussing, it is incommensurable. So if if the conclusion that we are all told uh, that explains the origin of the metric system is that it was, as you point out there, one half of the length of the meridian at coming in at 1,000 kilometers, you have these perfect uh, perfect integra integral numbers that we're told originate from these physical metrics used on the Earth. But we find when we look at the physical metrics that the Earth actually presents, no commensurability whatsoever to those numbers that we use as far as the decimal system and the, or the metric system, then you, it is impossible to conclude that one originates from the other. There, there's, there's similarity, but to say it originates from is too much to say that. You cannot, you can no longer say that. Um, that's yes. good. I'm, I'm following you. I think that's, those are important paradoxes. Yeah, because we don't have a precise, a Price precisely number, a number 1,000, mm -hmm. all right, 1,000.00 or 5,000.0000. Yeah. We, ha we don't have this precision. As you see, uh, the latest measure are uh, something kilometers, uh, seven and etc. cetera. Uh, we never have a, a measure round. Mm -hmm. around the measure that finished by zero zero precisely all right mm -hmm. and so the conclusion that the experiment of the invention of the matter from the length of the meridian cannot be reproduced all right so if anyone can do this reproduction uh i i'll i can reproduce this experiment, I will say, that's right. All I said is, is, uh, is no sense, is bullshit. So I apologize <laughs> in front of everybody. All right. And I'll give to this, this person or company, I'll give um, uh, 1,000 euro or uh, something symbolic. <laughs> <laughs> all right i will give something symbolic sincerely yes all right it's impossible all right these experiments cannot be reproduced it is never reproduced all right mm -hmm. well yeah i mean it's it's like the idea of lumens or any metric that scalar metric that we choose to come up with they're measuring something and if you if the the, the term lumens itself has a sort of it, it, it's useful. It, it originated when we were trying to calculate a, a quality of light that emerged out of you know electricity and LED lighting. Um, but to say that if we were told a thousand years in the future that it was candle makers who originated lumens, it would be absurd. There was nothing within the light emitted by a candle that would uh, give the makers of candles the idea of the lumen to to measure it, it it required new technologies new discoveries to have emerged for the very concept of lumen to have come on come onto the scene to begin with so it, it seems like there's a little bit of an, an inversion or a distortion happening 
Yeah, uh, th th that's right. Oh, in fact, the the um, the system of measure, of measure, and uh, uh, this it, it's uh, for the people. It's it's just a little uh, complicated to understand. You, you know, it's mm -hmm. a little bit complicated, but. In fact, it's it's not very complicated. All right, you you, you have uh, this is that's the problem of humanity for all the time to have something that can be uh, can be uh, unchanged for every time. That's the problem. All right, mm -hmm. and when you have this this uh, this standard, you you can make you can remake other standard right mm -hmm. and uh, that's the the same things with uh, the loom all right this uh, unit of uh, we'll see this later in this uh, in this uh, interview the the other unit of measure all right we'll see later so uh let's go don't uh, this is wrong and it's not it is impossible this uh, this system metric that uh, it's pretended to came from French Revolution. So, uh, where does the metric system came from? As I proposed, I said it comes from Egypt, right? So. The metric system was discovered by Egyptian uh, 2000, around 2070 before, before Christ, BC. And I propose uh, at the moment, at the period of Qasem Kemu, right? This is a statue of this, uh, this pharaoh, right? It's around this, this year, hmm. all right? uh i will explain this is the the palace of of uh, kasem kemu and uh, so as i before at the first um, at the first part uh we need a decimal system and we found this at the ishangabon all right and this Gabon, we have decimal system around uh, 20 years before, before Christ. This is the, the bone. And here we have the, the sum. So uh, 11 plus uh, 13, etc. We have 60 here. We have 48 here. We have 60 again. So statically in mathematics all right we call this uh, a decimal system and uh, this is uh, undeniable that we have here a decimal system all right so if you if you have a friends a mathematician friends that know the statistic and probability and he analyze this this bone the result of this so here we have uh, the relief traced all right uh, he tell he tell he tell to you that uh, it's impossible that this part may uh, be uh, for uh, just like by chance all right it's impossible the man who, who made this uh, this uh, this bone who is graved in the bone. This uh, the, the numbers know very well know very well uh, the decimal system ten by ten. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, the decimal system is acquired uh, naturally. 20 uh, around 20 year 20000 years before uh, bc in uh, we are here in uh, ishango around congo in the in the middle of africa all right in congo huh? all right mm -hmm. 
And uh, then the Egyptian, the, the African has, pro has, uh, has uh, proposed this system everywhere, all right? And what's happened in uh, around this date, all right? Around uh, this, this date, 2017, the God, the creator and God architect gave, gave him the meter to this Egyptian. So when, uh, when you heard the creator, God, God architect, you, you are thinking, Femi, what are you talking about, God? <laughs> it's like something exoteric, something poetic, uh, something, uh, it's something artistic. Hmm? Now we, we are making uh, the real question, all right? We are here in question, in question, very, very important question. So we'll see uh, just uh, a few, few slides later. So because this Egyptian cannot find by himself this standard, this, this unit, it's impossible. So here are some drop of water, all right, that, that I made. And a drop of pure water should form on its own. The drop must be stay fixed and not be expanded. And the overage of diameters of drop make the universal unit the centimeter. Multiplied on the decimal system by 10 by 10. So we have decimeter and one meter. So here's a picture. I'm trying to making some uh, drop of water. All right. So I have uh, uh, I've measured uh, here a drop. It made one centimeter. All right. So I made uh, this, this was happened uh, because I was in difficult. I didn't understand. I have the, the I, I look the qubit, royal qubit, uh, 52.36, uh, centimeters. But I didn't understand how the Egyptian made this why? Because uh, the qubit, uh, the royal qubit, it's uh, pi divided by six. How they do? I, I I did not have nothing to understand this system. All right. And uh, this happened in uh, 28 June in uh, 2018 at noon. All right. So I stay in my here. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, in the same uh, room, I put my hands here. What? How I can? How I can do to find this one? Uh, what I have to measure? Something? Mm -hmm. It make? I didn't search. You you have to understand. I didn't search the meter. I am not trying to to find the meter. You're right? just look, you're just I looking was, for something that would be constant. Is that what, what that's what you're Not, looking for? What, what are you looking for? What, what, what's driving you? With it? I, I have, I had, I had uh, a piece of food. Uh, did I have here this piece of food uh, called Royal Cubit? So I yeah. cut uh, a piece of wood 52.36 centimeters. That's the pie. Uh, that's a pi divided by six. Okay. So, okay. I saw the geometry, uh, golden ratio in meters, but I, I didn't understand. I, I understand the decimal system. All right. Here I have a decimal system, but what I have to, uh, what I have to, to, to find, I didn't know. Right. Didn't know. 
what I, I have to measure something, look at, uh, here to me uh, carefully. I have to try, I, I have to find something, a unit. I don't know what kind of unit. Then I multiply by, I don't know what, I don't know how. And this, this, uh, this done to me, uh, for example, 50, uh, 50, uh, 52.36, hmm. All right? What I have to find. So I, I, I said I have to find something, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 0 0.7 millimeters or uh, uh, 12 millimeters. I don't know. I don't know what kind of things that, how the system, you understand? Mm -hmm. That I multiply by, I don't know what. It, it, uh, I have the results uh, 50, uh, 52 point mm -hmm. 36. And so I stay at this moment. So, all right. And uh, in some seconds, some seconds after, the things it comes like a the like eureka connection telepathy or something like this huh? you you have an a eureka moment it yes okay. yes we can call say yeah uh, and like a voice like a voice but i didn't heard voice but something like this water and in front of me I see, uh, I was with my eye open and I see something like water, drop uh, water, water, something uh, like water. Water, what? Yes, all right. And next, what about water? What I have to do, what? Uh, so you, you understand it was a conversation like uh, with that voice, all right? Mm -hmm. Water and uh, get up for me, all right? Take, take a, take a glass. I take a glass. Go to the bathroom. Yes, go to bathroom. Fill it with water. I fill it with water. All right. Come down. Come here. All right. Put here. Take a pencil. All right. I take a pencil. Put there. I put in the glass, and like made a drop of water yes made a drop of water and now measure all right i measure i have a meter uh i have a meter there uh and i measure i measure measure what what i have to do what i have to look i i look look uh, for something as i said 0 0.8 0 0.9 uh, 11 millimeters i really i didn't I didn't know what I what I have to look. All right. And last moment, I I was to 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 let them back to let let down all this because it's it's looked like idiot to measure something like this. At this moment, this voice stop. Look, look, look again. Look again. Look again. And I look again. And at this moment, I look. Carefully, I see one centimeter. The diameter, it was one centimeter. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. And then one centimeter, oh my God, one centimeter multiplied immediately by 100, I have one meter. All right. This is, uh, this, the, that was something that you, it proved something, uh, something uh, very, very great. That it's something that you can never think to measure this. Mm -hmm. We'll go. All right. So I made later. Uh, so I made the uh, and at, at this moment to finish, and some maybe one or two days later. I was, I, I didn't believe, you understand? I didn't believe immediately the, the same things. Huh? Tell, tell uh, one centimeter multiply by 100, one meter, all right? Immediately, uh, you understand, 
you understand uh, pi divided by uh, six you uh, it made in mathematic it make uh, 0 0.40 uh, 52 all right 52 uh, uh, centimeters and they will will graduated this to the meter the royal qubit is graduated to the meter all right and at the mo at this moment i understand that this egyptian have made for the first time of human history that we called mathematic applied to physics this this is the greatest the greatest thing that humanity has had never made had ever made all right uh, because today if you want to construct a car or a, or a satellite satellite or a, or uh, uh, whatever you want, you you need to make mathematics applied to physics. All right. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll explain this. Uh, I'll explain to you now. And so this is what's happened for the first time at this moment. So uh, this great architect that is constructed this unit, this universal unit, is put in the water. All right, he's, he's, uh, he put this in the water. This uh, is uh, uh, is hidden. He has hidden this one. Uh, all right in the water and the this creator gave to this egyptian this unit all right this unit and so the civilization can can start his development can, can you right. go to the previous um slide yeah we're Met, uh image number five and six because i when i was doing the replication i i didn't feel that i was seeing always the exact same but it was always approximately one cent centimeter but sometimes i felt like it was a little bit different and I, I wasn't sure if it was something i was doing wrong but it seems like what you're showing in number five and number six is that you have in the case of number five am i, am I right to say that you you did 36 drops of water and and in the number six, you did fifty five drops of water, and then you found that there was different sizes of the droplets on, and you found a, an average. Or what? What were you doing there? So uh, I made the first measure. I I measure uh, thirty six drop of water, mm -hmm. and nine of thirty six dropper is exactly one centimeter. Mm -hmm. Next time, I made uh, 55 drops of water and 22 made exactly one centimeter. Mm -hmm. All right. So, weight eight drop made this 0 0.7. One drop this. All right. Uh, eight drop 0 0.9, etc. etc. But when you when you make a, an addition, 36 plus 55, all right, we have uh, one, uh, eight, nine. All right, 90. And we have, we have 31 to 91 of drop that made one centimeter. All right. So, uh but you 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 tell me uh, for me but for me it's not it's not uh, 100 uh, it's not uh most 50 percent right but when you made a statistic as we called for example uh the curve of ghosts all right mm -hmm. 
So here you have one centimeter, all right? As a mathematics statistic. Mm. And here we have the measure. You have mm -hmm. uh, 0 mm -hmm. 0.9, 0 0.9. So the statistic, the overage of this statistic, we have one centimeter. Ah, I see. You understand? Yeah, interesting. Here we are 0 0.9 is the overage, as I told you before, is the overage of the drop of water. Mm -hmm. On a, on a Gaussian have, curve. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gauss imperfect, yeah. A, a curve of Gauss, mm -hmm. all right? Here we have 1.1, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, 1.2, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Right? Interesting. Is the overage, you understand, is the overage statically. That's extremely important. That is an extremely important point. Yes, yes, because the next day, next day, at, at the first moment, <laughs> at the first moment, when I when I measure the drop of water, one centimeter, till uh, till the, the end of the day, I didn't measure, I didn't redo the, the same measure. You know, I made just one drop at this day. In 28 June, I made one just drop, the first, and all along this day, I didn't measure no more drop. I was sh shocked. You understand? I was shocked one centimeter, and the information comes. Information comes uh, by this creator. How how they do? How they reason for the cubit royal? All right. And the next day, I remain the, the, the same. Huh? I'll try to, to remain the same measure. And I found it was just a little larger. It, it was 1.1, uh, 1. 11, uh, 11 millimeters. It was not one centimeter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I reflect why, why the, what, what's happened? Yeah. I is it as arbitrary? Is it, ar is it as arbitrary as grapes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or, or fingers? It's arbitrary. Or it... What's happened? Yeah, yeah. What's happened? Uh -huh. uh, what's happened? It, it's not the same. I try to remade the, the same measure. All right. And I understand that that uh, it was a problem. It was the, a problem of the of the atmosphere because it was very hard. It was very heat at this moment, at this day. And uh, very wet, the weather is wet. Uh, I understand that, I understand, I know that uh, when the meters is heated, it's, it will be, uh, it will be uh, more, more larger, all right? Mm. And when it's the meter, it's cold, it will be retracted. All right. I, did you understand? So, yeah, yeah. So now you're actually getting at another variable of, of physical reality pertaining to temperature that would result in the the boundary conditions of the physical configuration of the water molecules um, that would be more or less. So that, there, mm -hmm. that one could imagine that there would be possibly like a a, a, um, a harmonic uh, mean temperature wise between the the hot too much warm too much cold that would result in a hundred percent i'm yeah. i'm speaking theoretically here but if this perfect temperature in the atmosphere could be maintained would you not say that we would be able to get a nearly perfect set of results of one centimeter um water um if if that yeah. temperature of atmosphere were, were constantly good yeah i i i will i tried I tried what's happened at this moment. I try a long of day. Uh, sometimes I get approximately one centimeter. I don't understand the in in what height I have to 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 put. I have to to get let down the drop. Uh, how it's happened? All right, and uh, there are many. 
there are many hundred thousand milliards of variable. Uh, variable, uh, how can you spell? Yeah, very, very, c'est le même mot en anglais aussi. Var, uh, yes, very uh, variable, all right. Uh, physical var var variable to that happened. Uh, and I understand, I understand just more later that here I was in front of that we called fine adjustment. Mm. All right. I, I write here and write. And what is fine adjustment? Fine adjustment, if you, if you look in Wikipedia, if you search uh, up, fine tuning, sorry, fine tuning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fine tuning. You have to understand because this is important, Matthew. So this is the so-called fine-tuned universe, all right? And here you have, uh, this is uh, constant, uh, just wait a moment. Uh, right. So you have all the physics, fine adjustment, fine tuning, just uh, wait, I didn't, just wait a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, it's, uh, it's the, the page. So intelligent design, but, uh, you, anyone can, uh, can read this uh, in detail. Okay. And uh, this is, this is called uh, uh, that, Many physicians will be adjusted, all right, will be adjusted uh, in a high pre precision, in high precision, will be adjusted to create the universe, all right? So here you have hundreds uh, and tens of uh, physical constant that will be adjusted for the creation of universe. If one constant will be will be a variable of uh, one uh, number, height higher or uh, or less, the universe it doesn't exist. All right, and at this moment, at this moment, this twenty uh, eight June, all the universe constant will be adjusted. You understand you'll be adjusted to show me the one centimeter hmm. all right the atmosphere the gravity density of matter etc 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 will be adjusted to show me one centimeter it was the first time of my life that i made this measure you understand the first time of my life you never think in your life to measure the water all right the first time it was the first drop it was the first drop that i made huh? it's the first and the one drop that i made as i tell you in my book i tell this in my book the first drop that i made and the, the, the what is most important that at this day the temperature it was around 30, 35, it was very, very hot. Huh? It was uh, uh, a summer very hot. And the drop of water, it doesn't, it doesn't made never, all right, at this moment, at noon, uh, 10 millimeters. It will be uh, 12, 11, or 30, something like this, completely irregular, all right? It will be... It, it has to be irregular. The drop that I made, it was perfectly and perfectly one centimeter. You understand what's happened? Mm -hmm. yeah. All, all the physics, all the physics constants had 
adjusted at this moment, all right? It's like a kind of, uh, of a deformation of space, of space of everything, all right? Just like the, the movie of Matrix, that uh, everything is, is deformed, all right? It's pressured, it's calculated. Femi, look at this. I'll tell you one centimeter Femi. So yeah, you're 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 postulating or, or hypothesizing um, a, a coherence or a resonance with your thoughts where where you were at at that moment and the universe itself in some way creating a condition to present the the answer that you were sort of seeking inside. Like there was a, an attunement between yourself and um, something beyond that provided yeah. an insight, an idea that that unlocked a bunch of problems. But but let me ask yes. you this. So, so at, at that time, if the next day when you tried to replicate your experiment and found that you were not able to, to acquire the same results with a perfect uh, centimeter when you, when you dropped the water the next day, at what point did you get to the idea that, well, like what I see right there with image number five and number six, at what point did you, did you come to the idea that, well, maybe if I continuously do a series of them and accumulate a, a broader data set, I will find within that um, an idea of the one centimeter appearing once more as you did. How long did it take you to come up with that idea? Uh, and uh, this idea, it was... Um... Because I, I I understand that I have to do measure and measure and measure, all right, and then I made measure, measure after measure to understand to understand how I can obtain one cent one centimeter. Uh, I think uh, in um, I think uh, after two or three weeks, mm. right? After two or three weeks. Because I understand uh, the one or two or three days after the same entity tell me so Femi uh, now I'll tell you the how we can obtain the the system of uh, how we can obtain the system of weight right I'll tell you the next. So you you made a cube 10 by 10 centimeter and by 10 this is one decimeter cube you full you fill with water and you made in a in a balance yes I did I spell balance uh, a, a scale yeah so you, a, a, a scale no a no balance, balance like that a, right yes in balance yeah, yeah a scale a scale, yeah. And this is one kilogram. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. That's this interesting. Is one okay. kilogram. So you took one uh, ten, 10 by 10 by 10 uh, centimeter or millimeter. Millimeter or centimeter? Millimeter. Centimeter. Centimeter. centimeter, centimeter uh, 10. 10 cube. centimeter. I'll okay. show you the next one. Oh, you'll show? Okay, I'll, I'll stay back. I'll yeah. let you go. Okay, you go. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you, you have one kilogram. I'll show. All right. Yeah. And uh, I understand uh, I understand how to obtain one centimeter. Uh, I think three three weeks because I observed uh, I observed the temperature of water. I I I, I'll, I will show. Okay. okay. So it was a fine fine tuning at this at this moment. So the first time with this. This is produced around 2700 BC, all right? And at this moment, the Egyptians start to create the civilization, uh, to create civilization. I have a message, connection, internet is unstable. Did it okay for you? Yeah, it's, it's okay. All right. And so the second time, 20 June, uh 2018 at no and you understand uh, why this date it's important so 
Let's go to the next. And so this, this is, as I called, uh, this is what's happened for the first time, as I called, the big bang of the development, development of our civilization. All right. This is what's happened in Egypt. And at this moment, we start to create, to, to create mathemat, uh, apl applied to physics. And we have the civilization that we have here today. We have, uh, we have plane, we have, uh, we have ships, we have car, et cetera, et cetera, All right? I will go, uh, I'll explain in more in detail uh, further. All right. Uh, tuk, tuk, tuk. So I said that this is the unit, uh, universal unit, and, and this unit, is based all the other units of measure uh, of measure of the physics. All right. Uh, so the probability this is the water. All right. This is the water. You have to understand that I'm not talking here to something like esoteric or poetic or artistic. We are talking here in mathematic. All right, it is mathematic, uh, the, the latest level of mathematic, uh, as I called, uh, as everyone called probability, all right. And uh, so you have the drop of water everywhere, you have the water, how is today, all right, you have wave of water, uh, and pro the probability in mathematics to find to find this unity, I think is one to ten. Uh, multi. So, up. Sorry, moment. So the probability to find this unity is one to divided by ten uh, in in the power uh, minus uh, 10 in infinity plus 10 in infinity. <laughs> so it gave a result 0, 0.0 infinity to one. Hmm. All right, so in human scale, the probability is zero. So you can never find this unity. So even as I told you the last uh, time, even you have 300 billion of years in your disposition to search, to measure everything in this universe, you will never find this. Mm. All right. So even, even we go back in the time, as I, as I put here, uh, M mean, I would tell minus in English. Uh, uh, My, minus. Mo most of the minus, words yes, that we use minus. in English were just taken from, <laughs> yeah. from the French. So <laughs> yeah, chances are yeah, it's the minus. Same. If we go back in the, in the time, uh, if we have the possibility to go back in the time, I put minus 10 in inf infinity, right? If you go back to time, plus if we go back, if we go to the future, 10 in infinity, all right? We have this possibility. So the possibility is 0, 0.0 infinity. And in the end of infinity of numbers, that it's impossible, you have the number one. So in human scale, you have zero chance. <laughs> and we, when you have zero chance, you have zero chance. You have, you have to wait for something happened, mm -hmm. all right? And this something is that there is an entity that the others called God, uh, a great architect, architect of universe, the supreme intelligence, and this entity tell you how to find. You understand in what yeah. dimension we are? From from my my thinking, um, 
even though many people who think that what you just said is unscientific, when you read the writings of most great scientists who discover real, real properties of nature, whether Max Planck or Einstein or Madame Curie or Dmitry Mendeleev or Johannes Kepler, if you read their writings, all of them think and write and have the same concept as you just put into words just now, that they're that they their commitment to um, discover the mind of God is what drives them. And because they have this faith that there is a creator out there that created the universe in a way which um, made it dis- knowable to the mind of the of, of us, a yeah. part of the universe, yeah. that faith gives them the ability to make to, to, to actually make the discoveries that they make, whereas people who lack that faith might have the same data, like Tycho Brahe, who had a lot of the same data that that Johannes Kepler used, but Tycho Brahe was never able to make a discovery of the harmonic relationship of the planetary orbits around the sun. So I understand. I I, I resonate very much to that that idea that you just put forth. Um, it, it's not it's not uh, so simple because uh, you have to understand what is the importance of these things of these centimeters. All right, I'm not talking to. Uh, it's a little complicated uh, as uh, to to explain this uh, how Max Planck uh, find it or or Lawrence or Newton and other maybe maybe the God the Creator tell them uh, this uh, how to find their 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 invention all right uh, you have to understand that uh, it's important because no the civilization, the civil civilization that we have now, will will doesn't exist if we the Egyptian didn't uh, invent find this unity. All right. So, if you don't have the centimeter, you don't have no plane. Lawrence can do nothing. All right. Newton can do nothing without the meter goes to you don't have robots you don't have atomic bombs you don't have uh, astronomers Leonardo da Vinci you don't have plane Edison can do nothing with the centimeter mm-hmm. you don't have cars you don't have Schrodinger you don't have train electric train Planck didn't do nothing without centimeters Henry Poincaré do, don't do nothing without centimeters so at the end, you don't have civilization. Yes. Understand? That's clear. Why it is important, this unit? Because all of civilization is, grew out of that, that, I, that discovery. Yes. All the mathematics, all the mm-hmm. physics is over this unity. All the yeah, it, it, it wasn't invented by the, the French revolutionaries in 1795. I guess that's the point that the, 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 the damage of that theory that promotes the idea that, that the French revolutionary enlightenment uh, philosophers created the metric completely detaches us from the, the origins of, of civilization as we know it. It, 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 is that what you're saying? Is that we we've, we've become disassociated from our 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 heritage, our our origins? Or no, I, I no, I don't know. I don't know about uh, this philosophy. But oh, I, I'm I'm saying that that's the 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 false idea that's been promoted that the metric system comes from the French Revolution, and uh, you know there are something there are some idea that is uh, is is uh, is made is is announced as so all right and uh, they will stay for a long time as so all right for a long time will stay as it was uh, told at this time i don't mm. i don't know if uh, if uh, this definition of metric system will change in 100 years, 200 or 500 years. 
I don't know. Mm. All right. It's not, it's not important. I know what have, what must to be written. All right. And so we'll, we'll see up, we'll see uh, this part uh, later. Yeah. And you're but, saying uh, there with the, the, the French... image, image number three uh, showcases all of the other things that emerged out, were, were made possible out of the, the unit that was shaped by the water droplet from the Gaussian curve. Um, yeah. We have now all of the other concepts that we measure with of different variables that all have at their heart or origin the water. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll explain later this further. So this is drop of water and uh, the water is present in the world. All right. Yeah. And we have here the obelisk of Karnak, as I told the last uh, time. Now this distance is one meter. All right. Yeah. Uh, up. Uh, the measure, as I tell, I go a little faster. The measure, as I tell, uh, see the double grab. We have 3,000 millimeters, 3,001 millimeters. Uh, all right. Here we have the Sakara, 1,000 millimeters. Here, as I published in my book, here in the room, in the chamber, the chamber, middle chamber of the Great Pyramid, we have a stone here, 100 centimeters, all right? And uh, as I tell, uh, this is was discovered uh, in 3,500 uh, around, sorry, and this uh, 2,700 BC. We have the stone of Palermo, Palermo stone, all right, uh, at this Palermo stone, for the first time, we have the name of Qasem Q. Uh, we have the name of Neniger. All right. And at this Palermo stone, for the first time here, and here, here, and here down, we have the first presentation of Royal Cubit. All right. So it... Uh, it, uh, it tells us that the real cubic that is graduated to the meter is, uh, a, is a peer for the first time at, uh, at, this, uh, at this moment, all right? The son of Palermo. And uh, we have this, uh, this measure. This is the level of the Nile, all right? In a royal cubit. Uh, you have the, I put the link. So, uh, for example, at this time, the, the Nile, it, it is uh, around uh, 60, 63 centimeters. This is the first time which we see the royal cubit up hmm. the Palermo stone. And he, uh, we see the food. Uh, the food, uh, the fluid level in meters, all right. These are the flood levels of Egypt? Yeah, yeah. Flood levels of the Nile. Okay. Right. So these measures are, are, uh, are written in this stone, the stone of, uh, of Palermo. Mm the Museum of Turin in Italy, and uh, the measure are in Royal Cubit. So we see the first time, the first uh, apparition uh, uh, of the Royal Cubit, that the Royal Cubit is graduated to the meter. Oh, and oh, uh, we hold, that, uh, we... hold that thought one moment. There, there's uh, somebody, a neighbor is at the door. I'm just going to... All right. And... Uh, all right, and so uh, we see for the first time the uh, beer, the um, rel cubit. Mm. Right, <clears throat> and uh, 
and so the uh, up the Egyptian start uh, start to make uh, signs measure all right for the to measure uh, the the soil the parcel for their uh, for their culture uh, and for the change uh, of the of the trade with between them so we see uh, the how the first appearance appearance of the royal kubit it comes at uh, the first they understand the the constant the mathematic constant all right so for example how we can find pi though so it, it's it's very important for them to measure to measure everything to measure everything to measure to measure the things of uh, of the they they need for example they uh, need to measure is the starting is the beginning of uh, of the geometry and mathematics mm -hmm. and so they need to measure the circle all right and for example uh we when we take when you take a leaf a leaf presses uh, the leaf the diameter of the circle with the same with the same uh, with the same leaf the diameters it made one leaf and uh, then we measure how this perimeter of the circle is yeah. and so we find we have three leaves and then three leaves plus something and this something they understand that they need to to cut to cut uh, this unit, the first leaf, to cut in 10 other subunits. Right? Mm -hmm. And then they understand that everything, um, at every time the circle is three units, full unit, plus uh, 40 subunits. And so they deduced the pi. Mm -hmm. right? This is the same things with another another leaf i take a leaf huh, for example but it can be uh, everything other right so yeah. they deduce the pi every time they find this constant the pi all right yeah. and in in measure in measure uh, the volume etc and so they deduced they deduced that uh, when we divide a constant by a number we have always a constant, all right? When we divide or multiply a constant, we have always an, another constant. So this is the volume, all right? The volume of the sphere in the volume of the cube, it made always the volume of the sphere is 52.36% of the volume of the cube. Mm -hmm. If right. if the uh, if so, the the diameter of the sphere is the same as the side of the cube, when when though when that's there, you'll always yes. get that result of fifty three point something to to uh one hundred. Yes, the same okay. diameters of the sphere. Yeah. Right. The yeah. same diameters of the cube. Yeah. It the volume, the volume of the sphere is thirty uh, sixty. Uh, 52 point 36 percent of the volume of the cube all right yes and so they decide they decide to to make this operation donc pi divided par by six we have zero point uh, five thousand two hundred thirty six all right and this is we are here in mathematics this is the theory and then this here they will cut a piece of food with this number with this result in mathematics and here we have the first royal cubit graduated to the meters 
That's right. elegant. That is absolutely elegant. And so you you introduced the cube um, and the sphere relationship. And from that yeah. cube sphere relationship, you have a rela- you have a proportion, and then taking pi, which geometrically comes from measuring the diameter to the circumference of a circle, you were able to get a direct correlation to what is, yeah, I mean the the the, the metric system the in the royal cubit. That's fantastic. Yes, and here you have this is a picture that I made in the Museum of the Louvre in two thousand fourteen. Uh, and I, I look, it's very interesting to this right bit. I'll take a picture, I take a picture, mm-hmm. and this is an original picture by me, right? And here we can see the measure, official measure is 40. When you go to the lower, is 42.3 centimeters, mm. right? So, up. Here, I am here in uh, Louvre on 2014. Right here, we have the Royal Cubit, the official measure. Right, you can see here 42.3 centimeters. And here we have the static, uh, the statistic. In fact, in, in fact, here, this is a picture we have the could a qubit of Dorovetti, Drovetti, a qubit of Drovetti. Here we have the second qubit of Drovetti. We have four Q, real qubit, all right? This mm-hmm. is the first, second, third, all right, in Italy. And this is the fourth real qubit. This is measured, all right, in, in a metric system. And the overage of all this four royal qubit is 62.52 is 523 centimeters uh sorry millimeters 523 millimeters 0.5 that means or millimeters or uh 35 centimeters all right so this this tell us this is the overage uh, sorry it's the original in french uh, this document uh and this value overage value traduction in english of the fourth qubit of memphis and this is this tell us that uh, they graduated they made the operation pi divided by by 6 and they cut the qubit in and graduated it to the meters all right this is uh, this is can I, can I ask you one little question um yeah do you have any thoughts of why they divided it by six and not by five or four? Is there um, a rational reason why they would have selected six? Do you think? Yeah, uh, they. It, it is correct to divide it pi by five or by eight, right? Uh, it, it, it's not a problem. It's um, it's just a, a question of uh, comfort. Well, I guess it it also creates that beautiful relationship too between the one and the and point five two of the the sphere and the 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 cube relationship when you have a volume of of yeah. so you have that that beautiful relationship uh, when you when you divide the the pi by six, right? Yeah, yeah, right. That that sort of answered my my own question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they they understand because they understand we are here in two dimension and here we are in three dimension. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so even even some Egyptologists tell uh, this is uh, this is not correct. It's not pi divided by six. All right, because the qubit it's. It's not six, but it's five, 
or sometimes it's uh, it's seven. We don't care about this because even we take off this, even we make statistic and probabilistic calculation. Uh, this is this tell us that in probability, in probability, uh, this is impossible to to have for royal qubit uh, with the this value 0 0.52 mm. probabilistic it's impossible mm. all right in probability in probability this 0 0.52 even this the three uh, it tell us that uh, this come from something all right and uh, this come is this result is uh, pi divided by six, right? It's mathematic. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so we have the real qubit, all right? Uh, found it the uh, domino map in Italy, and we don't care about 0.5 right 52.5 or or 52.3 this is not problem all it's important is the 52 fourth royal qubit that it uh, that it measure 52 centimeters right it tell us that we have a graduation to a metric system, so we have pi divided by six. We have 22 centimeters every time. And this is means, this means that we have pi divided by six graduated to the metric system. And so for the first time, as I say, as I tell, as I told you, uh, we have for the first time on an history mathematics applied to physics in 2700 BC. All right. It's not a coincidence, it's not a hazard, okay, but it's a knowledge. And as I tell in the movie, as the gods do, the God, the creator, has created this universe. Mathematics, he created mathematics, and over mathematics is he created all the physics. All right, all uh, the atoms, molecule, uh, everything, all the physics in this planet, in this universe, is graduated to the mathematics. All right, so if you if you ask any physician or any mathematician you will say the same things. Everything is applied to physics, as the gods do. And they will do as the god has created all things. And then they will create it. It's, it they join the, the same question that you, you, you made me, why? Pi divided by six and not by five, uh, it will be the same the same thing. Uh, in this case, they divided number eight by uh, pi royal constant, and here we have the two point fourteen, the graduated to the meters, and we have imperial unit, mm. the inch. Mm. All right. So we have the zodiac of Dendera, a Louvre in Louvre, and uh, the the zodiac it uh, it is it has a diameter two point uh, forty forty three and 40, uh, 45 meters. All right, so the zodiac. So we are we are here in a in a metric system. Uh, we have the the inch, all right. We have a one hundred inch diameters, right? So 
the diameters of the zodiac is 100 inch. All right, this is not a, a coincidence or by chance, this is that they know, they invented, they created another system, another system, but graduated to the meter. So uh, to the meters, you can graduate, you can create it. Uh, you create an, another constant and you graduated this to the meter. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's clear for you. So, well, you the, go on, yeah. So, the imperial system is graduated to the meter. That's the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. I get, <clears throat> I want to be careful with my question. Um, I guess when dealing with, with matters like this, because you're, you're going through a rational, um, reconstruction of the types of reasonable questions and answers that w any healthy, curious mind pursuing um, truth would have experienced. So it's a very rather simple uh, exercise, but I don't know anyone who's done this the way you have. Um, and it, it demonstrates certain certain thoughts, certain discoveries had to happen in a certain order. Um, which is very different from the um, the, the the popularly held um, assumptions that we are given about the origins of the metric and the imperial system, um, inches and what have you. Now, I guess because I'm naive, I'm I'm curious how how is it popularly accounted for the origins of the the uh, the imperial system. Is it is it that they say, well, I, I mean, I, I know I've heard it said the way you, you've introduced regarding the French. They say, well, the, the Enlightenment French thinkers created the metric system based upon the circumference of the earth. That That's a commonly held belief. With the imperial system, do they say this is just an arbitrary system that came from like les pousses de un, un roi? Uh, or, or do they just say it's something random or arbitrary? Or what? 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 What was popularly believed, and is there no connection? Is this the first time that that there is a coherent connection between the two systems that emerged from the same source? Is is that what you've just done, or is this has this already been thought about by uh, by people before? Um, so to identify uh, to 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 identify something, all right, without precision, you have to say, uh, how long is this? Uh, I say one finger, but it's approximately, all right? And when you have greatest distance, you say uh, uh, 200, 200 step, all right? Or something that is approximately uh, of this measure, all right? Uh, historically, I didn't see this uh, nowhere, all right, this correlation. As I see, I am the first that's made this correlation. Uh, and uh, I think, I think, uh, I, I, I didn't read in the history of the, of the inch, how it is graduated, how it's come, how it's defined, defined right? Uh, I didn't read uh, nothing about the historic of this, right? Mm. But uh, you, can, uh, you, can, you can create system called inch, uh, called, uh, uh, called finger, or called, uh, well, Qubit, all right. You can create. You can create uh, as many as you like, all right. And you can uh, give a name. Uh, what What do you want, all right? You can create the name. Uh, I don't know. For example, uh, you can create another unit system called uh, Leaf, for example. Mm -hmm. All right. But the people 
know know very well that all the leaf are not the same mm -hmm. all right so for example how long is your table i said uh, it's uh, 40 leaf all right 40 45 leaf yeah but we but know unconsciously we understand that we know for the experience of the life that the, all the leaves are not the same. What yeah. leaf are you talking about? Yeah, my leaves are bigger than your leaves. So yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah for sure. Uh, okay. A leaf of uh, my tree, of leaf of of uh, of uh, of what another fruit, right? All mm -hmm. the leaves are not, are not the same. Yeah, yeah. And when you push the question, but what? Can you explain me uh, what about what kind of leaf, how the leaf, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So, people doesn't many people doesn't not are interested about the origin of measure. All right, it's, it's not interested. People is interested about the origin of the things when they have problem. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you have a problem, all right, with something, in occurrence, for example, with the measure, uh, you you go, you buy uh, something, you buy a piece of food, and you have a problem of measure. It's not the same measure, so you 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 ask the question: How did you measure? Where did you find the measure? Where the measure become, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So people is interested only when they have problem. Mm -hmm. When everything is go fine, they didn't uh, have no interest to understand the measure, etc., etc. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. All right. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I, I, I don't want to deflect from if, if you're if you're taking this in a direction, I don't want to derail it. So I'll, I'll, I'll withhold my uh, my work, my remarks for now. And so uh, and so the imperial uh, unit, uh, this is my theory, my hypothesis, all right? My hypothesis. So uh, if, uh, if any scientific, uh, it's not in accord with me, we can discuss, all right? And uh, in United States, we have uh, imperial uh, units in uh, many of uh, many part of uh, of economy, but all the industry, many part of industry, uh, in that Airbus, um, Boeing, etc., uh, uh, cars industry of cars, etc., the heavy industry is in a metric system. Mm -hmm. Right, the metric system is uh, large. It's very large employed in United States. The heavy industry. So this is uh, as uh, I said to you before. Don the Egyptian now they integrated by a multiplication or division. The constant, uh, constant. Uh, mathematic, all right. So, if you made this operation five by third by three point forty, you have this result. So here you are in theory, all right. You have nothing as unit, and here you will take this unit and you will construct a temple or everything you want with the pi. Here you have pi integrated will construct a temple with the pi integrated in meters qubit or any any mm -hmm. standard you want mm -hmm. that the root is the meter all right mm -hmm. and so you have a temple all right you have a temple with a pi integrated all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and i think that so the they the, yeah. the value is is <clears throat> because it's easy for the mind in some ways to think about the constants um, being the relationship of of the curve to the straights, which we find when we look at 
pi and, 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 and its origins. And we find that that relationship will always be there. But how do you determine the size of that circle? What, what radius do you use for the size? And we yeah, often yeah. skip over that step because it's not, it's not self-evident, like immediately what that is. Everyone can agree on the relationship of, of pi or the, the golden section. But then what, what, what is your agreed upon metrics that you use when you get into the building phase of doing something with that, that, um, and, and so you've just blended, you, you've united both together in a very, I see how they're both mm. being united in a, in a very, um, coherent manner. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, so you have pyramid everywhere. Huh? So mm. the pyramid of the Louvre is uh, with pi integrated, but uh, we know that the pyramid of Egypt is more, more old is that uh, the pyramid of the Louvre, all right? And so uh, they uh, they made it the pi integrated before uh, the Louvre. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we come we come at uh, the mathematic uh, applied to the um, to the Great Pyramid and to the Great Pyramid, and so. They will make the operation 44 qubits multiply uh, div divided by pi, and they have the base in qubit. And then this base, they will multiply it by two. All right, this base, they multiply it by, by two, and they have the, the height of the pyramid. So they have the the base and the height and so they will make the triangle so it's the we have a perfect triangle mathematically perfect and they will create the shape of the pyramid and uh, so this is uh, this is made it long before uh, the great pyramid as I said, at uh, the period of Kasem Kui, Kasem uh, Kemu, to pronounce correctly. Mm -hmm. And here we are at the Pyramid of Djoser. All right. And uh, the Pyramid of Djoser, it's uh, all the, 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 the temp, the the temple of uh, of Djoser, the the complex of Djoser is uh, is created with uh, pi and golden ratio integrated, but I think I don't put here. We have here the pyramid of uh, Meidum. All right, and is around uh, one hundred before uh, the Great Pyramid. So the pyramid of Medum is exactly the same shape of the pyramid uh, of Cheops with pi integrated, hmm. right? It's exactly the same shape, have exactly wow. the same shape. Yes. Huh. 100 before the pyramid of Cheops. Hmm. Uh, and so we have the pi integrated with an error 0 0.08. And uh, the measure are, are uh, the official measure, as we found at Wikipedia and mm -hmm. everywhere Wikipedia. I tell, I said Wikipedia, but everywhere uh, we, you find this measure. And the error of uh, P of Keops, Khufu, Great Pyramid is 0 0.04. So we have pi, at the pyramid of uh, Meidum, right? The official pi is this, 3.14. Let's uh, see, and here, the pi of Kufu. The error, you understand, is 0 0.04%. It's, it's very, it, it show us the, um, the level of 
of uh, precision. All right, and uh, the 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 they want to to work with precision, right? And uh, we have here the pyramid of uh, of uh, Kefren, Kafre. We have the sacred triangle three, four, uh, five. All right, this is another geometry. And everywhere we have uh, the metric. Uh, we have this this uh, conception to integrate it the system metric uh, the mathematic constant with um, system metric metric system so this is the re reasoning of the pi all right the tree of probability and to calculate this probability now when we find the pi everywhere here uh, everywhere uh, at uh, this construction the first the first reason is the first question is this pi did we have pi or not the first all right so we have pi when we have pi yes we go to the next reason reason reasoning and uh, the next reasoning we have did we have this is by chance a hazard or is knowledge all right mm -hmm. and we calculate this uh, mathematically if this is a knowledge did is did it come from alien or a non civilization or this is an empirical reflection by research and the experimentation all right at this time, we didn't find any alien or unknown civilization. At this moment, we didn't find any anything for this theory. And when we think that it's empirical reflection, research, and experimentation by Egyptian, all right, we make the the other question: Did it simple or complicated? All right, and then we, we, we understand that it's not complicated, all right? It's not complicated, but it needs very, uh, it need very, uh, very good observa observation of, uh, and measure to measure the nature and uh, other things, all right? But you need, you need a first push, uh, and the first pass, you need a system, a system that uh, it never change all the time. You need a metric system. And so uh, we go to the to the royal. Uh, we go to the golden section, right? So you have the temple of Kafre with the golden section everywhere here all the temple we have always the golden ratio we have the temple of the palace of akinaton with a golden ratio everywhere all right we have mm -hmm. the temple of horus with golden ratio too and uh, claude genzing is a polytechnician and mathematician and architect it tell us about the pi and the golden ratio so this this person is not an archaeologist is not an historian is not a chemist he is a mathematician all right and uh, it tell us exactly he said quote we found it so often that the probability that is due to chance is practically null. It is infinitesimal, and for me, very sensibly, it is as it if it null. Uh, and he said, it is reasonable, reasonable for even for a mathematician that is 
is to say, who normally must be able to calculate the probability, to calculate the probability. So it is reasonable to think that the very volume of the pyramid, Great Pyramid, was chosen because of the great possibility of making it appear through it the golden ratio. Quote. Wow. Right? Yeah. So you have a mathematician that is say it's not the probability is to uh, by chance to be by chance it's nil. And so we see the same things at the <clears throat> at the king chamber. It is uh, constructed in uh, in melted granite. All right, and uh, all the measures tell tell us that uh, we have a golden section, one point six hundred eighteen, multiply by square root of uh, the whole number. And this whole number, we have this, the sum of 100. All right, don't. So uh, the, the square root of golden ratio multiplied by, uh, by the root of four. This, this done as we have this result. And all this will be constructed here in meters. Mm. Another example of uh, mathematics applied, uh, <clears throat> applied to physics, to real physics. Mm -hmm. Wow. And here we have the measure of the king chamber, the official measure. All right. And uh, this measure are made by Glenn Dash, an, in, an uh, Egyptologist. And we have always the overage, general overage. We have 0 0.5236. We have the royal qubit. All right, and we understand that this the king chamber is constructed in meter and in a royal qubit pi divided by six. Mm. So this is that the mathematics and measure effect are talking. And so, at the as at the same as I said to you before, so uh, when I discover the, the the centimeter, a few days later, uh, the next information that came from from the sky, it was so Femi made a cube. 10 decimeters by 10 by 10, fill of water, you put in a, in a size, in a balance, and you have the one kilogram. All right. And I made the experience. I made the experience. And uh, it was not perfectly, but I was uh, around, uh, around um, uh, 198. Uh, uh, 90, 100, uh, 980 uh, something 80 uh, uh, grams mm. right because I, I, I put uh, yeah I, I made the char you, you know and I have a balance uh, a digital numeric balance and I put that was pre uh, very approached to 1,000 kilogram, mm. right? I, and I didn't want to believe this. I did not want to believe, and what's happened? I didn't want to believe to this. Uh, and what's happened? Uh, I said, it's not possible. I, I, you know, you have something that in, in depth of you, of yourself, you know that it's true. 
and you 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 need to to verify and i i i'll go i think did i go to did i will verify to wikipedia or not uh i for three days two or three days i didn't want to to verify i didn't want to go to verify or, or to find something like this all right and after three days i go to wikipedia and and i come to i began to to read about the kilogram and I'll read this, this text. The kilogram was originally defined as the mass of cubic decimeter of water at mm -hmm. four degree. So what is the most important is this, one cubic decimeter of water. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, that, that ties it all together. That was the the most important. I, I so so it's uh, you you, yeah, you must have you must have been overjoyed at that at that point to see the uh... overjoyed. Uh, at, at, you know you you have information information that comes that uh, it was uh, many many information so that comes from the sky and uh, at the moment at, at the end of the of the summer I, I didn't I was very very charged and I say stop I'll go I'll go in vacance I go in holiday and I stopped for a moment uh, because it was uh, it was very 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 loud very very hard mm. Yes, I was very happy. I was very happy, but I understand. Uh, yeah, I understand the uh, things, the greatest things, how it it uh, it works. So you have the uh, the, the standard of of weight at the museum, but I don't know how is measure, how many, how much they measure. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the size, the the weight precisely, but I think it they is graduated to the meters. Mm -hmm. No, it's 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 an important idea because we, I mean, the the way we we measure, I think measurement originally comes from the idea of of men. The idea of mind, mensa, you know, and there, there's this direct concept that the 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 internal hey, mind. Can you repeat? I sorry. Can you can you oh, repeat? Oh, sorry. Because... Yeah, the the my internet connection is now unstable yeah. on my side, but I was saying that uh, the the word measurement to measure um, comes from <clears throat> um, phonetically the source of mensura, uh, to uh, which is mentation, the mind, right? So there's an idea of looking within to find similarities of the world that is outside when we map and create uh, an idea of measurement of, of moving through and understanding the outside world using the internal measurements of the mind so the the idea that there is a coherence when looking for the spatial uh characteristics that on the surface appear to be sort of just quantity but in fact have weight have temperature have all of these other qualitative characteristics that we're we're trying to quantize it it makes sense that they come from the same source that they're not all different things but that there's one uh yeah. organizing principle I, I mean, it's good it's beautiful and so i verified it and uh, you can see here that the kilogram is defined 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter mm. all right uh fill it with water right and so you have the definition of the kilogram so um, for three days i said to you for three days i didn't want to verify i didn't want to verify because i 
I know it, it the depth of me that uh, this was true, and so it's it's logical. Hmm. Uh, so here we have some definition. Uh, the definition of uh, official system of unit, all right? But we have the problem is that the, for example, you have the second. Here is the second, all right? And the second will define the meter, all right? Uh, the second will define the kilogram, I don't understand uh, this is how <laughs> we have here some problem. I guess over and, time uh, you can lose weight. We if, you, have... if, you, if, if you diet, you can lose weight over time. <laughs> if, if you eat too much, you can you can gain weight over time. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, what? maybe they're talking about relativity, right? Where they're saying that if you, the more you speed up, the more you accelerate, the greater your weight becomes in, in, a, in a vacuum, according to Einsteinian thinking. So maybe there's a um, a time well, space weight mass relationship there. I don't know, but uh, I don't know how they they uh, they define it so. Hmm. But uh, I don't know. But for me, there is another. There is another. Uh, I have another explanation. So uh, this is. Femi interpretation and this is official interpretation, right? So you have kilogram that come from second and the meters, all right? Uh, I don't know how, why they put the second here because we we didn't have, we didn't need the second, all right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I will explain only this to one, all right? Because I said here that the base unit is the centimeter and six other unit, the, the other six unit, fundamental unit are based to the meter, all right? So this is a schema to understand, all right? Ampere, Celsius, mole, candela, second, and kilogram. All right. And we'll talk only for uh, the second and the kilogram. The kilogram, you, you, saw, you saw that it is uh, defined to the, to, the, to the meter, decimeter cube, it, uh, the volume of uh, one decimeter cube, cube. So the second. How is defined the second? The second is defined. This is for me. Huh? This is Femi, what Femi thinks. So <laughs> you have the earth, okay, that the earth has a, a, a perimeter, a circumference, circumference, and this, this, uh, this line, when we we put at the, the right, we have a distance. We have a distance A from B. So we have a distance X. So uh, the Earth, the Earth, it takes uh, epsilon time to 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 make uh, three hundred sixty uh, uh, complete. A tower around mm -hmm. all right so we have a distance and we have a time that this time will go to the end of this distance all right so we have zero hour and 40 20, uh, 24, 24. Uh, 24 hours mm -hmm. so for the x distance from the a to b equal equal epsilon time so for approximately 40,000 kilometers, we have the distance 40, uh, 24 hour, the time complete for the earth. Uh, so 
we understand that the time, the time as unit is defined to the distance unit. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, the first, the first uh, is the distance, and the second is the time. Mm -hmm. The time as we know, all right? The time, uh, the time in hour, all right? So the time is the second. So, uh, up just a moment, and here we understand that the metric system is the distance, and over this distance we define it the the other unit, the second, and this. Uh, that came in the other sense, the opposition said it's not uh, correct. All right. So the second that defines the meter, for me, it's not, uh, it's not correct. Mm. I'm open to understand uh, any explanation. All right. I would, uh, would like to, to hear any explanation how it's defined. And so all the other, all the other, Okay, this is for me. All the other units are defined to the metric system, right? Mm. But it's complicated uh, to to explain. Uh, no, I I feel like what this. you're doing right now, as as far as laying out a a rigorous thumbnail sketch, is sort of like challenging professors around the world to construct a healthy curriculum. Because I could imagine a proper educational experience for a young person that tackles any of the elements you've just you've just brought on so that students can discover you know doing their own experiments in a in a healthy school system which is not the sort of thing most of us unfortunately have experienced too much of in our society <laughs> but as far as a you know a reform if if a, a reform could occur in a more healthy way this would be the sort of guideline or outline which could be followed yeah. in, in my imagination. So, uh, so that's uh, the this uh, exposition uh, about uh, about the metric system and uh, the 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 constant mathematic constant that Egyptian has uh, has discovered. Wow. Yeah, it was uh, it was very it was a little uh, long long uh, explanation, but no, honestly, uh, Femi, I I think that in all honesty, this is the most important interview I've ever taken part of. I I, I honestly believe that, I, and I think that maybe many people who were listening maybe don't understand why I just said that, but if they don't, they should re-listen to the whole thing again. And watch your documentary uh, on the Great Pyramid and think about this because I, I think you've just provided a, a more principled organizing base for recasting and re-understanding or understanding maybe for many people for the first time our, our entire civilization and culture and everything that we take for granted. I mean, there's so many things we take for granted. And I, I don't know, going forward, um, I mean... Part of me, I, I I would love it if you maybe we could talk about this later on. If you would love to give this expo or if you would like to give this exposition to a hundred or so people that I could arrange to be part of a live a live lecture uh, from you in the coming months ahead. But there's so I mean this is this has to be um, experienced. People really need to to struggle and work through these concepts. I, I it's so valuable. Yeah, it's it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Would you like, uh, I mean, going forward for the next interview, would, would you like to tackle, because there's a lot of elements that we, themes regarding big ideas within your, your research um, that we have not had a chance to go through. Um, I know there is the concept of the, um, the actual material that went into constructing the Great Pyramid. Was it was it actually carved out stones, moved a thousand kilometers onto a site to then build it the way we've been told? Mm -hmm. Or is there a more reasonable explanation 
of which you you have a, a very healthy alternative, I think. Um, would you like to to do those in the future, or I don't know? There's so many different I- ideas to go through. I, I don't want to I don't want to take up too much of your time because I do want people to actually watch your video ultimately and read your book and support your work. Um, I think um, I think to 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 put this uh, to another uh, and maybe in one weeks or two weeks. Uh, I think we made. Uh, about three hours. We start at uh, eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about three hours. It's it was it's a yeah. big one. <laughs> it's a big one. So I think, I think to to stop and uh, retake at uh, and in one weeks or two weeks. What do you think? Yeah, I think one or two weeks, maybe two weeks, to give people a chance to really yeah. take in some of this content. Uh, let's do that. So Femi, thank you immensely for your generosity and sharing your discoveries. Of, I mean, th- this is a fire that that cannot be put out. This is so important. So thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see together in maybe two weeks. Right. Sounds good to me. And uh, for anybody who wants to, again, like I said, read read your books in French, soon to be hopefully not hopefully soon to be in English. Um, I know you're you have a GoFundMe to support and sponsor the translation project into English and hopefully other languages too. All of that will be available in the description box under this video. For so I encourage everyone to go out, read, research, support, and share this this work. Um, and thank you again. Thank you enormously.